welcome to part 5 of the tutorial where I shall be showing you how to import the items we created and set everything up. So I have UDK open here and with the content browser open I'm going to click import and navigate to Batman game meshes Batman underscore SM and now you know it works because in the import type it says skeletal mesh. We're going to change the package name to Batman game and we're going to change the grouping to meshes and we can keep the name the same and then click OK and then this will appear here we're going to right click in the grey space and click import now we're going to navigate to our textures double click our texture make sure the package name is the same change the grouping to textures and keep it batman underscore d and click OK with that done our texture will now appear we're going to right click it and go create new material a new box will appear We'll make sure the package name's the same. We we'll change the group into materials, and we'll call it Batman underscore Mat. And we'll click OK. With this, we get a new box. We're going to double click it. If we hold Control and left click, we can drag our texture sample node out. And then we're going to plug it in the diffuse and click the little green tick in the left. With that done, we're going to right click our material and click Copy Full Name to Clipboard. Go back to our Meshes folder and double click our Skeletal Mesh. Now down in the bottom left here we're going to apply the material. So you should see materials if we expand that. We should have bracket zero bracket. And then we're just going to paste the name inside the text box next to it. Which will paste our material onto our, free, onto our model. Before we do anything else we're going to set our model so that when we come to the scripting process that is set to the floor. Because we exported it at the zero coordinates inside max. It doesn't put it on the floor inside UDK. So we're going to control it via the properties on the left. So if we expand origin and then in the Z axis we type minus 51, you'll notice our character moves through the floor. Now time to import our animations. So if we go file new anim set, keep the package name the same, I'm going to change the group into anim set, I'm going to change the name to Batman underscore AS and click OK. Nothing can happen but you'll notice a little flash at the bottom left. So now we go file import FBX animation. Navigate to our animations we exported earlier, idle and run, select them both and click OK. Now if we switch the Anim tab, we'll notice our animations are here. When you click the little play button down here, we can see them playing, and the button next to it sets it to loop. So this is perfect, we now have our animations in and we have our Anim set. So we can close this. Now we're going to create a physical asset for 3D model. The physical asset will basically create our collision for it. So we're going to right click our model and go create new physical asset. Make sure the package name is the same. Change the group into physics. I'm going to change it to Batman underscore physics. And click OK. Now we get this dialog box up here. We're just going to keep this default settings. We're not going to play around with it. Just going to click OK. And now you'll notice all these collision boxes on our character. And this also controls the ragdoll feature. We click the toggle simulation button. You can play around with this to get it what you want. Now with that done, we're going to go up to our Batman game package, and right click it and click save. And we're going to save it inside our Batman game folder, not changing the name. Once that's done, it will disappear. Don't worry, if we expand the UT game and then content, you'll see it right at the bottom. Now sometimes it doesn't load up the whole package, so what we need to do is right click it, fully load, and that will load up the whole entire package and everything will go white. Now with that done, we're now going to create our new anim tree. So if we right click in the grey space and go new anim tree. Now we're going to change the grouping to anim tree. We need to make sure again the package is the same name. And we'll put the name as batman underscore at and then click OK. This will open up another box. This is where all our animations are controlled. First thing we have to do is do some setting up prep. So we're going to highlight the anim tree. And now in our preview mesh list, we're going to click add new item, expand to zero, and then preview skelly mesh. We're going to basically, in the content browser, highlight our mesh. Go back to anim tree and then click the little arrow that says use selected object. That will paste it in the viewport on the left hand side of the anim tree box. We can now bring this back up. Now we need in preview anim set, we need to click the add new item, expand to zero, and then preview anim set, 
we need to click add new item again and then in the zero box we need to paste our atom set so we highlight in the content browser and click get selected and now paste it in now time to set up our tree so if we right click in the gray space and go new animation node blend by blend by speed I'm going to plug that into the animation and then we're going to right click on our animation node speed and click add input that create child 2 now we're going to right click again in the gray space and go new animation sequence anim node sequence I'm going to plug this into child 1 we're going to click play in and loop in on the node and then in Adam sequence name we need to make sure this is the name of the animation we want it to play. You can find these if you double click your anim set and then go over to the anim tab. We're going to call this Batman underscore idle. So in here we write Batman underscore idle. And push enter. Then you'll notice our animation start playing on the left hand side. Now we need to add the direction. So we're going to right click in the gray space. Go new animation node. Directional. Anim node blend directional. So we're going to plug this into child 2 and we're going to select our batman idle node control c and control v which we'll paste it and then we'll plug that into the forward and then we we'll go back to our anim set and we'll change the name of this to batman underscore run and then to save time we're just going to copy this three copy this and paste it three times and then plug it into the correct locations I haven't bothered to specify a left, a back, left, and right animation. If you move the slider on the left here, you'll notice the animations blending by the speed. Well, now we have the whole thing set up. We're ready for the scripting part of the tutorial.